Today we will learn how to enter polar coordinates using command window, and to prepare layout for plot and scale. First, I will insert sketch drawing image by clicking on image icon on left toolbar. We have to specify insert point and to type scale factor for our image. We will use sketch image to read dimension values and to quickly draw our technical drawing. During draw commands, like circle and line command, I will enter exact dimension value using command window. Let's draw concentric circles by specifying center point and entering radius from command window. I will move all objects to the right, using command move. Just click on move icon. Then select objects and click on start point. Move the pointer to the destination location. Also, you can specify destination point of move command, by entering exact coordinate values in command window. Now, I'm going to draw the other two circle objects by using object snap to the center of the first circle. I will enter the radius values by reading dimensions from my sketch drawing image. You can can check the radius of circle object in the properties window on the left. Now, let's zoom into our sketch image. In order to draw this, we have to construct the lines at the 45 degrees from the circle center point. I will first draw the horizontal and the vertical lines with the help of Bubacad tracking feature. As you can see, the tracking lines are helping me to draw straight lines at 0 and 90 degrees. From now on, watch me carefully and look down at the command window which is located at the bottom. I will draw a line object with length value of 40 and angle value of 45. This is called a polar input mode. In order to enter the polar coordinates, just type the monkey character in the command window. After the monkey character, type the length value, then type the less sign, and the angle value at the end. Now, let me draw the line at the angle of 135 by entering polar coordinates. To finish line command, you can press escape key, or just click with the right mouse button. I'm going to draw next line by entering polar coordinate with angle value of 225. So, there is only one line object left. I have to draw this line by entering polar coordinate with angle value of minus 45. I will zoom into the sketch image by using mouse scroll wheel. To finish our technical drawing, we will use trim tool to remove some arc and line segments. As we have finished constructing lines, I will now use command trim.
Trim command icon is located at the right, in the Modify toolbar. Click the trim icon and then we are prompted to select the edge objects. I have clicked right mouse button to accept the given option of selecting the all objects in the drawing. Now, in order to trim the objects, just click one by one line segment. Be careful, you have to click on line or arc segment which have to be trimmed. There is some bug reported in Bubacad version 1.3, and bug is found when entering polar coordinates in line command. Please download beta version 1.3.1 from extension modules section or use polyline command. Now, let's draw two extension lines which will help me to draw angular dimension. Use dimensions commands to quickly insert dimensions to your drawing. I will first passing angular dimension as seen in my sketch image. Inserting dimensions is very easy. Just click Dimension Command icon and then select objects to assign dimension to. To insert the radius dimension, click on Radius Dimension icon at the Dimensions toolbar, and then select the circle or an arc object. There are five dimension types in current BubbaCAD release. And they are aligned, linear, radius, diameter, and angular dimension. You can adjust dimension objects later, just select it and move their grip points. I'm going to repeat a way of how to insert an image object into the drawing. Click on image icon at the left toolbar or enter command raster in the command window. I will now choose scale factor value 0.02 to get bigger image. In last part of this tutorial I will show you how to prepare your drawing for plot. You will notice this layout tab at the bottom.
click Layout tab to switch to the Layout view. To switch to the Layout or Paper view, you can also click the button named Model which is located at the bottom status line. When you are in Paper or Layout view, to switch to Model inside the Layout, you have to double click with left mouse button inside the Model area. Another way of switching to model is to click on the button named paper which is the last button in the row at the bottom status line. Button name will be changed to model, which means that you are now in the model view. To set scale for our drawing we have to click with right mouse button on layout tab and then, pop-up menu should appear. There is the option Set Plot Scale. Click on it to set plot scale factor. Look down in the command window to see prompt message. We are asked to enter how much CAD units will be contained in 1 mm of paper. For example, if we want scale of 2 to 1, then we have to type 0.5 for scale factor value. After we set scale factor, we must take care to not use mouse zoom wheel or any other zoom option inside the model view, in order to preserve scale factor that we specified earlier. To plot our drawing, check if we are in paper mode, then click on plotter icon on the main toolbar, or choose plot from layout pop-up menu. Also, you can add another layout, then you can set paper size and orientation choose plotter and so on. Let me show you how to add text object to the paper layout. It will be inserted in paper only, not in the model. Thanks for watching this video. Check for more tutorials every week. Bye.